In this video, we'll be going over best time to buy and sell stock. So you're given a rate prices, where prices I is the price of a given stock on the IF day. You want to maximize your profit by choosing a single day to buy one stock and choosing a different day in the future to sell that stock. So return the maximum profit you can achieve on this transaction. If you cannot achieve any profit, return zero. So in the first example, we're given 715364. And the maximum profit we can generate is buy at 1 and sell at 6 with maximum profit at 5. So let's go over a dark process. So for each of the index J, what is the maximum profit we can generate if we sell at the current index? We will want to find the minimum price that is before index J to generate a maximum profit. This means we will need to keep track of the previous minimum value stock minimum value stock then for each of the index j we can check if we can generate a higher profit using the price at the current index minus the minimum or the or the minimum value on the previous indices so let's go over a pseudocode so let's validate the input parameter. If prices is empty, then there's just no stocks to buy or nor sell or sell to. So we're going to return zero as profit. So we're going to create two variables. Max profit, which will initially be equal to zero. The maximum profits we can generate. So initially zero and the minimum price, the initial minimum price, which we're, we're gonna set at the first element. The previous minimum price, initially the first element. So price is zero. Then we're gonna iterate through the indices of the prices. Which is the input rate, the from 1 to n of prices, n of the array, right? denoted as i. We're going to update max profit. We can generate a higher profit by selling at the current index. Minus min price is other max profit if the current profit is greater. And then update min price if the current price is smaller. Then we return max profit. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is go to O of n, where n is the length of the input array. Visit each index once. Now our space complexity is equal to O of 1. Now let's go over the code. So we're going to validate the input parameter. If the input rate is empty, we're going to return 0 for profit. And then we're going to create our two variables. So min price is initially the first element, and also the max profit, which is equal to 0 initially. So then we're going to iterate the indices starting from 1. And then update max profit, we can generate higher profit by selling at the current index. And then update min price if the current price is smaller. And then we're going to return max profit. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.